Good morning, man, behind the scenes. Morning. What, uh, <laughs> what is this? Volleyball today. Volleyball today. Lessons. <laughs> the, Lessons on volleyball. The kids have taken over my shop. You know what I do have video evidence of? What? Is who won the who volleyball won, games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy. I know how good you are at cropping videos. Oh, no. No, everybody. I know how good you are 17. I don't believe you. I, be, I got video evidence. You're just like the girls. <laughs> I beat them the first four games. They called their friends and said they beat their dads. And then I started recording. And then I put it on YouTube. And then I sent a link out to all their friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I did not expect to be playing volleyball Monday morning, but I guess we are. Well, we got. To, I got a cool little project. Let me show you. All right. All right, man, behind the scenes, here's what I'm thinking. We built the Eliminator. That's what I'm calling it. I renamed it Eliminator. Oh, the, yeah, Eliminator. Yeah, you yeah, see where I'm going? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Who gave you that idea? I just covered that on my own. You got that on video, too? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so now we built this awesome Eliminator. Let me make some phone calls. I'll find out who gave you that idea. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm thinking, though. Okay. So the Eliminator is going to go down through there. And we're gonna drop the limbs. Yep. We need a way to get them out of the way. That's where I come in. So we're gonna build something that everybody's been begging us to build, but it's gonna be a different version of it. Yeah. Check this out. I had some. Uh, because I was, I was looking at some comments you had on what we were making. So I had all these cut at the machine shop down here. I think we're gonna build a miniature root rake to go on the skid steer. Yes. Won't that be awesome? Oh yeah, yeah. So Super that way nice. you can, yeah, because we can, can get the- right behind you. And, right. And we can haul that there with pickup trucks. Yeah. We can be pretty easy, nimble, and mobile, yep. and blah, blah, blah. So, all right, well, I think we got everything we need. Let's go get our old trusty saw horses out and uh, get started on this. I say we back up a step. Back up a step? Let's build some saw horses. Dude, we don't have time for that crap. All right, so- Why are you gonna get rid of old trusties? We're not, we're not. We may auction them those, all. Those things have been through fire. <laughs> they have. They have been low tested. But I want my metal saw horses. They have been low tested repeatedly. Hey, I got my table, okay? Is this another one of your pro your protests? You're gonna throw a little tinter tantrum yeah, until we do what you want we to? Well, you do it all the time and we gotta do what you say, so it's it's start of a new week. I want my turn. I would ask everybody. We're gonna build horses. I'd ask everybody on the internet who they agree with, but it'd probably be you and that'd yeah, be a mute point. Yeah, so exactly. Build saw horses. It won't. But this is long. quick, easy. We got the hey, just like the laminator. <laughs> you we like that name, don't you? We got the scrap that we can build it. <sighs> All right. Well, saw horses. Do we need to flip a coin again? You know, you know, we never win. Yeah, flip a coin. I'll you got a coin? Huh? You got a coin? Yeah. Here we go. All right, here we go. This I is where we're building saw horses or not. Man, <laughs> poor this week. Maybe a penny that I'll do it with. Oh, look at that. You're, got, you're rich. I got a quarter. All right. All right, I'll here call it. Here we go. You ready? ready? Yep. Wow, that's a new, that's a 2023. That's nice. Heads. Heads, I win. Oh, tails. Oh, re reflip. Reflip? Reflip. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. Heads, I win. Oh, correct. All right. There saw it is. It is. I guess it's only fitting we bring in old trustees one last time, huh? Yeah. Hey, I'm not saying we're gonna retire and retire. There may be a time when we need four sawhorses. I mean, I don't, oh, I don't understand your structural concerns with these at all. I mean, this has even got termite damage. <laughs> well, as I guess they would have seen in a video by now, doing a little sample cut in the shop with the laminator oh yes uh, yes we yes. really threw one of these around a little bit i think that one got cut out you talking about the clip where we sent the sawhorse across the shop oh yeah that, <laughs> one, oh, you cut that one out that was the good shot <laughs> well i haven't that edited, was showing the power honestly i haven't edited the video yet i've seen what i get on my phone i don't know if i get on here so yeah, yeah, all right so. so we uh kind of scratched our heads here scrounged up what we have around the shop so here's what we want to do with these things we want to make them as strong as possible to hold tremendous weight. Yep. 
we want to make them as light as possible so we don't have a piece of equipment or a crane to move them around. Exactly. So here's what we're coming up with. I got this, uh, I don't know where we got this from. I think this is left over from Works a Lot's pile. There's I beam in here. What is this, like a six by eight I beam, I think? Five and a half. That was close. Yeah. I had the eight bar, right? Yeah, no? eight and a half. Eight and a half. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was proportionally right. Lose a half inch, gain a half. So, here's what we're thinking we're going to square this up, cut this in half. This will be the top of one, this will be the top of the other. Uh, that should give us the strength, and it should give us the nimbleness. Yeah. That's what I'm going with nimbleness. <laughs> Big words today. Uh, and then we got some um, inch and a half tubing we bought for another project. I guess we're going to repurpose into this project. I think we're gonna use that inch and a half tubing as our legs. And then we might try to put a shelf on one. We're gonna try to make yeah. them stackable. All right, we gotta go one step at a time. Yeah. This, is, this is on the fly. This is so, kind of like the eliminator. We don't have any uh, plans for these. I know it ain't an attachment or an <coughs> implement, but we're gonna name the saw horses too. Well, one thing we're gonna try to avoid is having to put a lifting eye on them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that we do wanna try to avoid. All right, well, let's get this. Uh, you know what we're gonna have our biggest argument about? What? How high to make these. That is, we're gonna make them the same height as these. You okay with these highs? Yeah, I okay. like these I highs. can live with that high. Because with my roll around bench, if I jack it all the way up with the lift kit on it, it's perfect for me to weld off of these. All right. So, my idea hey. with the wheels on there, on that table, was a bad idea because it gets too high for me. I'm up here. What, do, what do you always say? Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> you literally need to we chop, chop. chop, chop. Chop, chop. All right, guys. Well, Aaron's working on cutting that off. We're going to work on a little project of our own as well. I think we're going to rearrange this area of the shop right here. We got the mill sitting here, which we've been using more and more. The lathe, which we've been using a whole lot more. I got my belt sander, my drill press, and this saw and the welder. We don't use this saw a whole lot. It takes up a whole lot of shop, a whole lot of room right here. I think we're gonna move that down to the abandoned farm. I've been going back and forth on what to do with the drill press because the mill will double the drill press. But this thing's still really handy. The small stuff, it don't take up a whole lot of room. This thing here we use randomly quite a bit. So, what I'm thinking, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna move the lathe and the mill over here. Move the welder, the drill press, and the sander over here. And that should make everything a lot more usable. One of the things I got, this takes 220 power. I got no 220 over here, but I got the 220 welder plug over there we can double up on. This is gonna make it a lot more convenient, so let's, uh, let's do a shuffle. I like the direction we're going here, man, behind the scenes. <laughs> so that's nothing to do with saw horses here, bud. <laughs> You've got your project, I got my project. I never just put my earbuds back in and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, where I was gonna- I do like it, I do like it. I was gonna put the drill, I was gonna put the drill press over there, but 
honestly, it fits in that little hole right there. That was your idea. And uh, if we need it, it's still accessible. If we don't need it, it's back out of the way. The table on the mill misses everything. We got electric and plug-ins for everything. I like it. I like it. I just got to get, uh, I just got to get that organized. Yeah, All right, you got us in two pieces? Yeah, I got us in two pieces. Okay, so here's the next thing I think we need to decide. We're gonna use that inch and a half for legs. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut a long angle where it welds to here or a shallow angle and just weld it to the top. I like go right in the top. Yeah, I like agree. Um, I tell you what, if we figure out what that angle is gonna be, well, how tall is that sawhorse? Good question. Good, uh, tape measures right there. Oh, there it is. So, I like to keep them all the same height because there's a lot of times we do a lot of things in here where it don't hurt. Have it precise? Have, yeah. So, so we're at 34 and an eight. So, what a weird size. Here's the question. Do you think that started off at 36 and we've just worked her down? Uh, <laughs> probably a good possibility it was 36. Oh, uh, I wonder if we don't. I wonder if we just don't make them 36. 36 and then add some stubs on the legs on these. <laughs> so we need to figure out what that angle is right there. That angle. So basically we just determined that was a 10 degree angle. Actually it's a 15 degree angle. We're gonna suck those feet in a little bit so we can minimize our yeah. footprint for storage. And uh, these are mostly gonna be used in the shop. So we're gonna be on a nice solid floor. So stability is not a huge concern. We went ahead and cut 10 degree angle on this end, which will be the end that sits on the floor. So we go down 36 inches and uh, ready to cut our first leg. Let's give it a shot. I guess this is a prime example of why we got rid of the other saw already. <laughs> All right, so if we flip this upside down, this will go like that. Mm -hmm. We should make that flat if we stay off that web. Yeah. I like it. All right. So do you wanna just go ahead and get one tacked on or do you wanna go ahead and cut Well, it? I wonder if we shouldn't cut a second one and then check and see how far of spread we uh, got at the top. What we got, yeah. Yep, all right, let's cut one more. This is going to be very scientific. Right there. That is, uh, Exactly, got 18 inch spread at the bottom. 18 inch. So, hey, man. It's like that's enough? I think it would be, I mean, we can, we can go out. Well, we can't go too far because, uh, hold on a second. You're dead now, you're out there. Exactly, it's 17 and three quarters. Man, I think that'll be fun. I, I like the idea of it being a little bit more narrow because it gives us more storage options. Oh, I know. That's what I think. If, if you're nervous at all about it and you want it to take them out, we can take them out. But I, I mean, I like it. I think we're gonna be good because we're gonna be setting it on two saw horses. So and we're gonna put a brace in here. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. That one. Um. Which was our original one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, long story short, we're gonna cut a few more and figure it out. Yeah.
All right, guys, we got all of our legs cut. They look good. Aaron's getting everything cleaned up, polished a little bit, ready to weld off while he's doing that. We're back in our organizational project. We got the eliminator hung up there out of the way. So we're going to uh, finish cleaning up this spot. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to move the press and the sandblast cabinet over there where they're more likely to get used from time to time. I think what we're going to do, and I hate to say it guys, all the go-kart stuff and all the Lieutenant Dan stuff is going to move on out of here. We're going to take it down to the other building because we can work on both of those down there as we get time. And that'll open up a whole lot of space for us right here. What do you think? What's all over that wall? We're not talking about that. Looks like some I see running nothing. down and grinding dust on it now. <laughs> it's a movie screen, buddy. It's a movie screen. It's a movie screen, okay, yeah. Okay, there's nothing yeah. on there. We'll get this shop cleaned up good enough. We'll have IMAX. We'll go on both walls in the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You ready for me or you want to move some stuff over real quick? Well, I think we... Let's go ahead and get it loaded on the trailer. And then let's get going on these saw horses and then when we go eat lunch we can unload well i need to all now well i need to get those two moved over so i can let eliminator down so we can use the saw the crane to load up the saw unless you want to he-man it up there well that trailer tilts down yeah but that saw does not roll very well hmm huh. and i guess we need to uh get the uh eliminator down all right, let's uh, let's shuffle real quick, then we can lower it back down. All right. It's, it's hard to believe all that stuff. I try to load in a truck lower just in that corner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Beverly Hills ain't got nothing on us. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at all the room we got now, though. Oh, I know it. This is nice. That's needed to be done for a long time. So. Bingo. All right. Well, let's head. <laughs> we cleaned up clutter here. Let's move it to a new building. Yeah. <laughs> you want some uh, good news or bad news, man, behind the scenes? It's all good news. It's all good news? Yeah, I, I, all good news. We made it all the way down here, didn't lose anything that we know of. And we got extra help unloading. I was gonna say, the good news is you got extra help. The bad news is it's crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll take what we can get. Uh, yep. Crash needs a favor, guess what? We need a favor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna trade an old favor for favor trick. Yeah. How are you, Crash? Hello, how are y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like y'all are having more fun than I am. You showed up at just the right time. Always. Everybody's wondering about oh, you. They want. Crash. They want to know where you're at. Been working in. They Kentucky. think. They think after you your seed and strolling job, I fired you. No. They haven't seen the other videos coming out where you're back truck driving again. Yeah, right. And now, now you're a material handler. Yeah. <laughs> this is manual labor. Can you handle this. He's dressed awful nice. I know it. I didn't know I was gonna get myself into this. You can't say that word, Crash. It's a family channel. 
crap. It's a B. Crap, there you go. <laughs> Put a B. All right. We, uh, we time lapse loading all this stuff up. We have no idea where we're going with it, so we're just gonna unload it and then we'll show you. We forgot, we forgot to show the people we got our. Oh, you never did show them that. You didn't, you didn't no. video any of that? No, remember, we were in a hurry that day. Yeah. We got our fancy pallet shelving up. Cedar. Cedar. We videoed getting the wood from Wade. Yeah, but what about yeah. the video of it being cleaned out? Huh? No video of it being cleaned out. Hey. You want to bring that up? So we can go over and talk about a few things you forgot. <laughs> yes, yes. Do we need to do that real quick? Oh, wow. Hey, his name's not. No. Hey, it's, his name's not Sweep or Clean. It's Crash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got everything put away. Put the equipment back in the shed. You got them perfect? Yes. Right. Oh, come on. Where's the... There it is. Because you know when the uh, dog and the donkey come in here to use the bathroom, we got to make sure everything's right. Fine. Exactly. <laughs> this didn't turn out too bad. Gonna have a water pump stuff on the end. All Lieutenant Dan stuff nicely stored away on top. All the go-kart stuff there. We still got half the shelves left. Oh, yeah. That's good. Because we're going to need it. Then uh, I'll show you guys over here. We put the saw over here. This is still a work in progress. Last time we were down here, we did get all our roof leaks fixed. We get this swept out. We got a few things to put over there, but it's coming around. All right, we're gonna head back up to shop and finish up our saw horses. I've come to the conclusion we need to work faster on this, so I quit finding stuff to do over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like doubled our shop size this morning. All right, check out this fancy thing I made. Okay. You wanna see how this works? Yeah, let's see how this Prepare works. to be amazed. All right, grab your two legs. Okay. This one, this one. So if you put one on one side, okay. one on the other side, then how far? Well, I think these first ones will spit flush. You want it tied up against? No, you point? can't go tight. You gotta come no. off of it about, I don't know. Well, hopefully look, right. if you about hook, four inches. If you hook this here, and you hook this here, look at that, holds them for you. Yeah. Now, like that, yep. And then I can hold this. If you give me a square, I should be able to square them off there. And you don't have your welder ready, do you? No, I do not. Uh, you just want to have that right one. Yep, got lucky. I can just reach the floor. <laughs> about my back. All right. You guys are going to have to hold tight until we get the welder. All right, we're ready now. I need the speed square. Oh, so I got Yes. Oh, 
Okay. Like it? Yep. Yeah, awesome. Yep. All right, we're gonna do the other side and just stand on the floor and see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, you think we'll need to do think we'll need to do anything to keep it from going this way, side to side. We could clean it up by cutting a little plate to yeah. put on the end and weld everything off. That's what I was thinking. Could you if you had something where you could come down, yeah. Weld that off, that's gonna take care of a lot of it there. Uh, on this one here, you know it really don't matter where we put them, it's the one we stack on top. That yeah. So let me, uh, it don't matter where we put the legs because, let me see here, that's five inches, yeah they'll go up in there, I guess the legs are going to rub on this before they'd ever rub, we can put the legs in the same spot on both of them I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well do you want to go ahead and tack out one together and set it on top of there and just see what they look like? Yeah, yeah All right. we can do that. Let's, uh, you know what we haven't done in a while? We should do this one the magic way. Yeah. That's how we should have cleaned this whole shop up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, no, that ain't working. All right, well, let's do this one the other way, I guess. Let's, uh... Whoa! We got, uh, we got four legs. Yeah, we do. We got uh, eight legs. Eight legs. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not tall enough to see if that'll stick on top of there, so... Hold the camera. We want to see... We want to see if it sits flat on the ground first. Oh, we might do that too. I almost put a wrong leg on. <laughs> yeah, you did almost put a wrong leg on. That would not have been good. I mean, I wouldn't call it white, but it's definitely tangible. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's got a bit of a right? All right. Now, you think one will stack on top of the other? That's what we want to do. Let's see what it looks like. Hey! Hey! Oh, that's heavy. So, if we wanted to get really fancy, we could notch that one out, probably get it to go down a little bit farther. But honestly, I think on one of them, let's just put our shelf right shelf there. Shelf right there, yeah. That way I'll sit right down on top yep. of it. Like so, I think we'll just mark that, and that's where our shelf, the bottom of the shelf will go. And those are going to store a whole lot better than what those stored. Yeah. So, okay. yep. Yep. All right. Uh, well, do you want to... Weld those off while making a plate. Yeah. Here. Sure will. Well, Aaron's welding the uh, welding the legs out. We're gonna cut five and a half by five and a half squares to go on those ends, kind of as a gusset to hold everything together. I'm gonna buzz those out of there with the wafer wheel real quick. So we don't have a whole lot of cleanup. And then we'll tack those on the end.
Okay, yeah, whistle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they all look that good, right? No. No. Not what happened there? That back there. <laughs> It's that door, if anybody wants to understand what happens when you got a door open. But it's so nice outside. It is, it is very, very nice. All right, outside. I got you uh, some fancy plates here made out of some fancy scrap. Yep. I think these are gonna work out pretty well. If I put that right there like that, I wanna hold that up just a little bit on that bottom so you can get a nice bead across that yeah. top. Yeah, if you can get it off the bottom a little bit. Um, I get, oh crap. Don't weld my finger, please. Like tack it, it there. tack it. Uh -huh, I'm up with tack on. And whew! Oh yeah, that ought to add some decent little strength. Oh yeah. You're good, you wanna tack it somewhere else or you gonna go with it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple tacks on it. All right, I'll get the other one. So basically we're gonna go around Get these four plates on the end. I should add a little bit of strength and clean up the ends of those. And then the last thing we'll have to do to these, you like it? Yeah. All right, so these are five and a half one way and five and a quarter the other way. Because of the thickness of the soapstone. Okay. Uh, what do you got us holding out there? This right here is. Well, well, I know our poles are square, so is that not square? Holy cow. What happened there? Oh, there's a line on there someone didn't cut. Huh. Who <laughs> was in charge of that operation? Let's Good. just skip that one. And, uh, there's two more in. I can still see my line. You drew a crooked line. I did draw. Yes, you did. There was my line straight in line with that piece of metal. That's a crooked line. Saw horses. No. I'll tell you exactly what happened. That line was about half inch wide, and I just cut right down the middle of that line. But how come it's... If you use a sharp piece of soapstone, it'll leave a fine line. I cut right down that fine Our... line, it'll be perfect. So I don't see no problem with this one. I cut this one too. So full of crap. All right. Are you over that uh, way far enough? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Eyeballs. Good yet? Yep. Eyeballs. All right, you guys get the point. Let's get these last two on there and then uh, we'll get our shells built. So what we got in mind is, I think we're gonna take a piece of this grating cause it's kind of light and uh, we can cut metal and stuff will fall through there. It won't get damaged, about six inches wide. We're gonna lay it across these kind of as an extra support. But more importantly, we've noticed using these saw horses would be really nice to have a shelf to set my grinders and pickaxe or the slag pick and random stuff like that. So. I'm gonna cut some braces that go between these. Uh, we're gonna go, so this is five and a half inches wide. So whenever we stack this, if we go six inches, should allow it to still stack the same. And then if we add the thickness of both legs, that'll basically give us a nine inch shelf, which uh, we're thinking should be sufficient. We cut the legs, they were paralleling angles. These are gonna be opposite angles. Short end, short end, I got that set up and saw. Six inches, let's cut. Let's cut this one off and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Now we can make one shelf bigger than the other one. Do you see an advantage of that? I mean, I'd keep them all the same. Just keep them the same, that way I don't. Yeah, so that's I mean, that's gonna be your shelf. Way. So it's gonna be up pretty high too, which I mean, it'd be, it'd be more like this one here, which is more convenient to set stuff on. Yeah. As long as you got uh, enough room to slide like a grinder or your beaters or whatever you're using yeah. on it. Tape measure, okay. stone, stone. All right, well, I'm gonna cut, uh, guess I'm gonna cut three more of these. Yeah. All right, let me get these cut and we'll see how they fit or how they work. Hey, behind the scenes over here doing a little welding. Continue to do a little cleanup over here. Yeah. Got the uh, eliminator outside for now. 
I don't know if I can see that out there. That's got to be the goofiest looking attachment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the old saying? If it works, it works, right? Yep, that's right. All right, you got our in place welded out. Yep. Uh, I guess the next thing we need to do is put our brackets in here. I'm thinking, I don't think we'd be better off putting those down flat on the floor yeah. and then level those yep. to make sure we're good. I like that. Now I got well, I got them four welds on the top. Yeah, top, yeah, so. get those. We'll so honestly, that. and with these corners being kind of in there, the only sharp corners we got right there. Yeah. They, uh, Tiger Paul take that right off. So, yep. all right, we want to roll these over. Yeah. Hopefully, it's still on the floor. Yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that. I think we're going to have to get a little bit creative with our uh, the level here. Hey. I'm off. I think that's going to work just fine. I mean, it's not, I say it's not perfect. It's pretty much perfect. Yeah. All right. One down, three to go. All right, those fit in there nicely. So while Aaron is welding this off, we're gonna get a measurement. Let's call that, we'll cut it 45. We don't need to be all the way out to the end. So 45, we should be across the top here. We should be close to nine inches. Yeah, so 45 by nine. I'm curious how nine inches lays out on this grating. All right, so we're going to go, we're basically going to go eight and a half. Because nine inches is over here. There ain't no need to just have that little stub out right there. So let's get, let's cut our 45 first. Oh yeah. It's going to work out good. So we'll cut this way first. We basically need to cut that way. Uh, be 18 inches. And we'll cut a long way. You guys get on the side. I don't know if we're geniuses or idiots. <laughs> We didn't think this through. We should have put this piece in maybe before we put that in. Yeah. We still would have had all the notching though. Yeah. But then we wouldn't have done, got to do all this fancy bending and crazy stuff yeah, on the ends. Yeah. I think it'll fit though. You ready to find out? I'm ready to find out. Larry, this is like one of those puzzles, you know, we got to put all back in. Yeah. Uh, this should slide through here, right? Yeah. I should have let that slide in there. Yeah. Oh, Bam. So, what I'm thinking is once you, once you tack this one off, yeah. the pry bar and pry that one back over and then it'll match that side. Yeah. Voila. Voila. Now, the question is, I think I can still lift it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to run a marathon with it on yeah. the shoulder, but. <laughs> all right, we'll get that tacked down so you can bend them out. Get everything welded off. Sweet. We got to tell them about our oops. Now. Just see if they notice it. See if they notice it. All right, well, I won't play on the camera no more. We'll let them comment down below. Yeah. See if they can figure out <laughs> what happened. See if they figure out what we did. We'll both, we'll both take blame on this yeah. one. Yeah. It's uh, minor, but it's not. Yeah. I don't think they'll ever notice. Don't they ever notice? Nope. All right. So we'll click away. We good. Oh, 
All right, so now that you got those welded off, the question is, can I pry these back out? You coming? Yeah, it's coming. Get it where you like. Oh, right there, attacker. Eyeballs. Yep. There you go, that looks good, don't it? Yeah, I like that. I'll be, don't worry about our cords getting caught on that. Or yeah. pants leg getting caught on that. That's uh, that's probably stronger than our last. <laughs> yeah, I'd you know, say uh, it is. Now we got two oops. We're gonna tell them about either oops. Nope. They're gonna just see if they'll <laughs> notice it. We just I going. just want to see how good they are. <laughs> we'll Cause they catch me out in the woods looking for squirrels. <laughs> but we'll see if they see if they catch this one. All right, uh, try this one out. Right there, ain't it? Nope, keep going. Well, I didn't there. Oh, hand. there you go, right there. Can All you right. hold it there? Yep, go. Nope. Let's see how long you can hold Just it. Just weld it! Oh, okay. Eyeballs. Well, they couldn't see behind the cameras how uncomfortable of a stance that was. Wasn't that bad for me. Yeah, I'll bet you it wasn't. <laughs> hey, I was helping you hold this. <coughs> I got all the way against this. Uh -huh. so I was helping too. Uh, all right, you want, no, we got to grind that galvanize off this uh, one yet, don't we? Yeah, yeah, I got to grind that galvanize off. All right. Last piece, man, behind the scenes. Last piece. Last piece. Fits like a glove. Side you want to start with? Uh, down there, this uh, I think it's six one half dozen the other. No, is it not? Right. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna come to me a little bit if I can. Oh, you right there. Enough for your. Yep. Everything good there? Yep. All right. Well, the way. I'm gonna attack it. That. There you go again. Not doing your job. Eyeballs. I want to do that side first. I want to do this side first. I need your assistance down there. All right, yep. you get this one right where you want it. Yep. You like it? Yep. All right, eyeballs. Yeah, let them know this is not our mistake. We had to cut that one off to get it to go in, and I'm hoping we can still bend this one back out. Yeah. Good, Dan? Yep. All right, make sure I didn't draw one way or the other. Look straight. Looks All right. good. All right, while Aaron's well nose out, I think it's time to retire some old friends. Them behind the scenes, them are some absolutely gorgeous sawhorses. Yeah, yes they are. For uh, the more time and effort we got into them, and uh, a bunch of random scrap metal yeah. laying around again. again. <laughs> they turned out awesome. The best part is, they're stout enough to do anything we want to do, but do you want to show them how muscular you are? I mean, one person still can pick them up, okay. carry them around. I ain't calling them light. No. But with two people, they're really oh, easy. Yeah. All right, last thing we need to do is get everything put away. Make sure they fit. So we got an area right here. These are so nice, I think we decided we're gonna keep them inside. <laughs> yeah. And you know what we haven't done? What? Is stacked them since we completely finished building. No. Oh man, I hope the tape measure. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like they were meant to go there. Yeah. All right, let me help you. I'll put you that one up there. You ready? All right, I'm ready. I hope we stack. I do too. Here we go. You're 
out of place is your welder. Well, I see you put your stool over here, so I'm gonna put my stool over here too. That's the seating and uh, <laughs> seating and sawhorse area. Yeah. Seating, that's person and material support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully this will fit back here in this hole. This does. We are going. Uh -oh. oh, you're taking out my press. Oh, look at that. Got all kinds. You can still walk through there. That uh, oh, yeah. handle on that mill will go the other way. Perfect. Yeah. Got more room there now than what we had before. Yeah. Look at that. Huh. Well, man. You got a shot, man. The bad news is that we've got absolutely nothing accomplished that I want to get accomplished today. Yeah, we did. Zero. What? I wanted sawhorses done. That's what not what you done? wanted to accomplish, not what I wanted to accomplish. Well, we're a team. But. We're a team. This is all stuff that's been, we've had on our mind to do for a long time. And it's nice to uh, finally get it done. Yeah. Whenever I kind of inherited the mill and the lathe, we just threw it over there. So we didn't really know how much we were going to use it. And uh, this worked out nice. great. This corner has always been the random catch-all corner from Lieutenant Dan to random projects. What it looks like to me, it's Go -karts. the catch-all. Well, still is. <laughs> but, you need to get that thing going so we can get it out of here. You know what needs to happen next? Somebody needs to clean up their metal rack. No, oh, we don't want to talk about that. I'm talking about this four Because if thing. I clean up that metal rack, it's going to weigh about a third of what it does now. Yeah, you just let me handle that. I'll take care of that. All right. Well, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Like I said, total randomness today, but it is nice to have in the shop. Clean back up. He's already eyeballing it, wanting to play basketball. Look at him over there. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so, all right. I gotta go get Macy from volleyball, basketball, softball, whatever practice she's at. I don't even know anymore. And uh, what is it, basketball? Volleyball. volleyball. Yeah. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, big old thumbs up. You wanna see us uh, get back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Come on. See you guys.